Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perik Rishon, Daf Chet, uh, sorry, Daf Tet Amud um, Aleph, and uh, just finishing off from the page before, that says uh, that thus we see that this period between dawn and sunrise is considered night. So now we're at the top of Daf Tet Aleph. Lo, no, lo alam yamamahu. Actually, it's considered day. Vahay dakro dekaro lelia, and that which Rabbi Akiva calls at night, um, in order to perform the Shema, deika in shei deganu behahi shata, because there are people who are still sleeping at that time. Amar Rabbi Yacha bar Rabbi Chanina, Amar Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi. Halakha ka Rabbi Shimon shama mishum Rabbi Akiva. The law is in accordance with Rabbi Shimon said in the name of Rabbi Akiva. Amar Rabbi Zera. Rabbi Zera said, Uvilvad shelo yoma hashkivenu. Provided he does not say uh, the, shma, the post-shma blessing of hashkivenu. Ki ata Rabbi Yitzchak bar Yosef Amar. When Rabbi Yitzchak bar Yosef came... Uh, from Eretz Yisrael to, ba- to Babel, he said, "Had the Rabbi Acha bar Rabbi Chanina Amar Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi Lav Befeirush Itmar." The um, ruling of Rabbi Acha, the son of Rabbi Chanina, in the name of Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi, um, that the halacha follows Rabbi Shimon by Yochai, was not stated explicitly. Ela Miklala Itmar, rather, it was on the basis of an implication. Dahahu Zuga Drabananti Ishtakur Behilula Divre de Rabbi Yoshua Ben Levi. For there was a certain pair of rabbis who became intoxicated at uh, a celebration, a wedding of Rabbi Yoshua Ben Levi's son. And as a result, Atu Le Kame de Rabbi Yoshua Ben Levi, they came before Rabbi Yoshua Ben Levi. Uh, they woke up after Amut Hashachar, after dawn. And asked if they could still perform the the Shema, the obligation to say Shema before dawn. Amar, Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi said, "Kedei hu Rabbi Shimon lismoch alav bishat hadchak." Rabbi Shimon is worthy enough to be relied upon in a time of pressing need. Masei Shabbat Banav ve lechulei. It once happened that Rabban Gamliel's Gamliel's sons came. The Aj Hashdalo Shmia Lehu Had Rabbanan Gamliel. So how had the son, the sons not yet heard this ruling of Rabban Gamliel? Hachi Kamri Lay, this is what they said to him, Rabbanan Plege Ilav Ilavach, the sages argue with you in regard to it being a a um a biblical law. And if an individual and a majority, uh, the halacha accords with the majority, uh, or perhaps the sages concur with you with regard to it being a biblical law. And that which they said, um, that you can only recite evening Shema until midnight, uh, is in order to distance a person from sin. Amalehu Rabban Gamliel said to them, Rabbanan Kavati Sviralehu. The sages concur with me. Bechayvin Atem. You are therefore obligated to recite the Shema now. Vaha de Kamre Ad Chatot Kedei Lehachik Adam Min Ha'avera. For that which they say, uh, Shema only until midnight is in order to distance a person from sin. Now, um, the Mishnah stated, Velo zu bilvad amro ela vechomer, vechole. And it is not, not only in this case that the Sage said, that was about uh, until midnight. Verabanan gamlio mi kama achatot de katane velo zu bilvad amro. Now, does Rabban Gamliel say until midnight that the Mishnah should teach? And it is not only this that the sages said until midnight. 
Hachi Kamalehu Rabbanan Rabban Gamliel Livne. So this is actually what Rabban Gamliel said to his sons. I feel the Rabbanan de Kamre and Chatzot, even according to the sages who say until midnight, Mitzvah ta ad she'alei amud hashacha. The mitzvah extends until the light of dawn arises. V'ha dakai daka amrei ad chatzot k'tei le'achik adam min ha'avera. And that which the sage has said that is until midnight is only in order to distance a person from sin. I'll just scroll down. So we're starting from Velozu. Sorry, I'm not starting from there. We're starting from Hekter Chalabim. From here. Hekter Hekter Chalabim. Hekter Chalabim Bechulay, the burning of sacrificial fats. That's from the Mishnah. But the Mishnah does not state uh, about the eating of the Pesach offering. But contrast this with the following Raisa. Uh, reciting Shema in the evening. And Hallel on the night of Pesach. And eating the Pesach offering. The mitzvah extends until the light of dawn rises. So you can't eat the Pesach offering until dawn. Amar Rav Yosef, Lokasha, there is no difficulty. Harabi Elazar ben Azaria. Um, this reflects the opinion of Rabbi Elazar ben Azaria, Harabi Akiva. And this Baraisa uh, is from Rabbi Akiva. Titania, for it was taught in the Baraisa. Be'achlu et habasar belayla hazeh. And they shall eat the meat on this night. Rabbi Elazar ben Azari Amir, Neemar kan belayla haze. It is stated here on this night. Beneeman lehalan vaavati beeretz mitzrayim belayla haze. And it is stated there. And I shall pass through the land of Egypt on this night. This establishes exerish shava, meaning that the. Uh, there are two phrases, Balayla Hazer, in two different statements. Malehalan ad Chatzot, just as there, were, there it was until midnight, Afkan ad Chatzot, so to hear it's until midnight. Amale Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva said to him, Behalok varnema bechipazon. But it is not already stated in haste. Ad sha'at chipazon, which means that you should eat it until the hour of haste, which is until daybreak. In Ken Matal Mudlama Belayla. So, what does it mean uh, on? What does it mean uh, when it says on the night? Yechol Yehenecha Kekroshim Kekroshim Bayom. It would be possible that the Pesach offering should be eaten like other sacred offerings during the day. Tam Mudlama Belayla. The Torah states on the night. Belayla Hu. It is eaten only at night and not by day. It is well according to Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah who holds the Gezerah Shava. It was necessary to write this, Hazeh. Ela le Rabbi Akiva hai Hazeh mayavid According to Rabbi Akiva, what does he do with um, the word this? It comes to, to exclude another night. I would have thought to say, Since the Pesach offering uh, Kodashim Kalim, and the Shlamim offering is Kodashim Kalim. 
Mashlamim Nechlin Lishneyamim Velayla Velayla Echad, just as the Shlamim offering may be for two days and one night. Af Pesach Nechel Shteleilot Bim Kom Shneyamim. So to the Pesach offering may be eaten for two nights in place of two days. Ve Vihe Nechel Lishneyleilot Vyom Echad, and it may be eaten for two nights with one day. Kamash Malan Balayla Hazer, the Torah teaches us on this night. Balayla Hazer Hu Nechal, it is only on this night, i.e., that, that is the first night, and the Pesach, that the Pesach, Pesach offering may be eaten. But Eno Nechal Balayla Hazer, and it may not be eaten on another night. The Rabbi Elazar ben Azaria, uh, so. Where do we get that Rabbi Elazar ben Azaria says you can eat it on the second night? Milo totiru ad nafka. It emerges from, and you shall not leave any until morning, meaning you should eat it all on the first night. But Rabbi Akiva, why did Rabbi Akiva uh, not, not uh, give his reasoning based on that phrase? Imautam hava mina mai boker. If we drive from there, I would say, uh, what is the meaning of morning? Bokeshini might mean the second morning. Rabbi Alazar, Amar, Rabbi Alazar, Malach, and Rabbi Alazar would say to you that morning, kol boker boker rishon hu. Every morning is always the first morning. Vehanei tanae kahanei tanae. These tanaim argue the same as the Tanaim. The Tanya of Sotna Braisa, Sham Tizbach et HaPesach Ba'erev Kavosh Kavod HaShemesh Mo'ed Tzet Chami Mitzrayim. There shall you slaughter the Pesach offering in the afternoon when the sun descends the appointed time of your departure from Egypt. Rabbi Ali, Ali, Eliezer Amer, Ba'erev Ata Zoveach, in the afternoon you slaughter, when the sun descends, you may uh, begin to eat. And at the appointed time of your departure from Egypt, that is the morning, you burn whatever is left over. Rabbi Yehoshua Mer, Ba'erev Atazavech, in the afternoon you slaughter it. Kevo Hashemesh Atalchel, when the sun descends, you may, you may eat it. Ad matai ata and until when may you continue to eat it? Ad moed set until the appointed time of your departure from Egypt, meaning until morning. Okay. Hang on. I'll just scroll down. So we've just finished Tzed Chamimitzrayim and now we're starting uh, Rebilia Zer. Actually, beginning from about uh, four fifths of the way down on the page, the beginning word of the line is moving, is just after Mitzrayim Amaravava. Amar Rabiava, Rabiava said, Hakomodim Keshin Galu, Shinigalu Israel. All the bread that when the Israelites were redeemed from Egypt, they were not redeemed other than in the evening. As it says, Hashem your God took you out of Egypt at night. And everyone says that they actually left, um, that when they actually left, they did not leave except by daytime. Shnema. Macharat Pesach Yatsub Nesobi Avrama. As it says on the morrow of the Pesach offering, the children of Israel went forth with an upraised hand. Alma Nechlehu, about what did 
um, Rabbi, El, Rabbi Akiva and Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah disagree. Al Sha'at Chipazon about the meaning of the time of haste or the time of pressure. Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah Savar, Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah hold, my Chipazon, Chipazon Dimitrim. What haste is it? The haste of the Egyptians to get rid of the Israelites. Rabbi Akiva Savar, Rabbi Akiva holds, my Chipazon, Chipazon de Israel. What haste? The haste of Israel when they departed. Tanya na mihachi, this was also taught in a brisa, Hotiata Hashem ele elakecha, Mitram Laila, Hashem a god took you out of Egypt at night. The Hippa Laila Yatsu, but did they indeed go out at night? For Halo Lo Yatsu Elabayom, where they went out only by day. Shnema, Mimacharat, Hapesach Yatsu, Ben Israel be Adrama. As it says, on the morrow of the Pesach offering, the children of Israel went forth with an upraised hand. Rather, it teaches that the redemption started for them from the evening time. Speak, please, in the ears of the people. It follows with, let each man request of his fellow and each woman from her fellow silver vessels and gold vessels. This in respect of when, uh, of Moshe's instructions to... Hashem instructs Moses to tell the people. Amre Teve Rabbi Yanai, they said in the Academy of Rabbi Yanai, Ein Naela Lashon Bakasha. The word please is nothing other than a term of appeal. Amale Hagadosh Barakula Moshe, the Holy One blessed, he said to Moses, The Bakasha Mimecha, I plead of you. Go and say to Israel, I plead of you. Request from the Egyptians silver vessels and gold vessels. Shelo Yomar. Shelo Yomar. Shelo Yomar. Otot Sadix. This is the next page. So that the righteous one shall not say, "Vavdum ve'inu otam kiyem bahem," that God, God fulfilled concerning them, uh, as uh, according to the Brit Ben Had uh, Brit Ben Had Betarim. We'll continue that on the next page.